Guys, time is of the essence. The attorney general is trying to step in for Richard Glossop less than a month until his execution date. It is a, it was a devastating ruling by the court. I, I think, you know, when the attorney general of the state of Oklahoma says that he thinks that this witness makes material misstatements, you know, that's now undisputed. That was attorney Don Knight after an Oklahoma appeals court upheld Glossop's conviction last week. On Wednesday, Attorney General Gettner Drummond plans to recommend clemency for him after Glossop's execution dates have been pushed back several times. There's so many errors that we can't trust the trial that happened. Representative McDougal was part of a bipartisan effort last year to get Glossop a new evidence hearing where more than 60 state lawmakers wrote a letter to the state attorney general. He points to lost or destroyed evidence never seen by a jury and a detective asking leading questions to Glossop's co-defendant, Justin Sneed, which changed his testimony. He was their key witness. So if you take his testimony and it's a flawed testimony, how can you trust anything else that he said? In the attorney general's letter to the pardon and parole board, he says, quote, the jury was not aware of the entire truth due to Mr. Sneed's false testimony and the state's failure to correct his testimony. Attorney General Drummond also notes the jury was not informed Sneed was diagnosed with bipolar disorder and was on lithium to treat it. And in his letter, the attorney general did say that he thinks Glossop is guilty of accessory after the fact, but not first degree murder. That execution date is set for May 18th and the hearing scheduled for tomorrow morning.